No one likes spam, so let's protect our Divi contact form with Google reCAPTCHA version 3. So this is completely free and it's also invisible, so you don't have to force your users to solve puzzles or mark which images contains cars and stuff. So I think this is a really nice solution to stop spam. So let's start by opening the contact form settings by clicking the cogwheel. And if we scroll down to spam protection under the content tab, we see that we have basic CAPTCHA activated. And that's this mathematic assignment here that's not doing too much to stop spam and it's just annoying for your visitors. So let's turn that one off. And instead we would want to use a spam protection service. So I hit yes. And the only service provider that is supported here is reCAPTCHA. So we go with that. And then we have to choose a reCAPTCHA version 3 account. So I click add and I will set an account name. And this is just for internal use on our site. So I can just say DV crib. And then I have to have a site key and a secret key for the version three reCAPTCHA. And then I have to go to the Google reCAPTCHA console to get these keys. So let's open a new tab and I will go to the reCAPTCHA site from Google. And I have included this link below the video. So just click it if you want to follow. And here I click the V3 admin console. Do not click get started or documentation because it's easy to get lost in this jungle. Trust me, I've been here a few times. So we go to the admin console. And if you are logged in to your Google account, you will see this. If you're not, make sure you log in. And if you don't have a Google account yet, just register a Gmail and you will get in here. Okay, so first a label for internal use. I think it's good to just set the address or the, let's see, the domain and the reCAPTCHA type. So we will use the latest one, which is the V3 and not the V2, the old one with the cars and, and stuff with the images, really annoying. Add your domain so no one else can use your keys on their website using your traffic. So I will set the Divi crib.com and if you want to use it on more domains you can just click the plus sign and add additional domains and uh, i will ex accept the recaptcha terms of service and sure send me alerts if there are um, increased spam traffic or so and now i get a site key and a secret key so i will just copy the site key by clicking and i go back and i will paste it my site key and let's go back here and copy the secret key and we we'll paste it and now I can click submit okay good so now I will scroll down and I will choose my Divi crib reCAPTCHA account the last step that I need to do is choose a minimum score and if you click the question mark here you'll have some uh, information about it so this is how hard you want to be on the spammers, how, how high you want to build your wall, so to speak. If you set a very low value, uh, some spam will uh, slip through the net. And if you have a really high value, there's a risk of uh, real humans getting caught in your spam protection. So what is the perfect number here? Well, my experience is that it's somewhere between 0.8 or 0.7. So just try it out. And uh, when you are logged in here, you will be able to see analytics. So after a while, you can see how many suspicious requests that are caught. And you can see if there's actually slipping uh, spam through your spam protection, you can increase this. So maybe start at uh, 0.7. And then if the spam goes through, you can try to increase it bit by bit. But don't set the highest value because this will prevent your real clients to, to contact you. You don't want that. Okay, so let's hit the green button, save changes. And I will save my edits. And if I now exit the visual builder, we can see that we have a Google reCAPTCHA badge down to the right. And uh, this means that everything is working fine as it is with our keys and, and our domain. 
if you have an error message you have to review your settings here maybe you didn't uh, use the correct key or uh, maybe you, you forgot to, to add your domain here or have a typo in your domain uh, otherwise it should look like this and uh, this will automatically protect your forms so that's it your forms are now protected from spam with google recaptcha version 3 Thank you.